great first day. Uh, really excited about just the, the attitude, the tempo, the way that everybody's working out there. And it's nice when you're in the same offense and defense now for three years in a row. As you step out there, everybody can execute everything. You know what I mean? It's not like square one where you're trying to get formations and all the base things. Uh, I feel really good about the number of the amount of experience that's out there on that field right now. Uh, the guys like a B.J. Daniels and a Murray, and you look at that offensive line. Uh, we took we took Damian Edwards from tackle and moved him over the guard to fill that one of those guard spots because of his upperclassman experience. And all of a sudden, you start looking at it and you're saying, "Wow!" Now all of a sudden, you're, you're saying, how are you going to replace two upperclassmen? And with a guy like Edwards, who's a fifth-year senior, steps into that spot, it makes you feel really comfortable and just. Well, I'm really excited about the attitude and what we're doing out there. We're still, you know, throwing, catching as well as we'd like to, you know, and that's the the consistency part is what we got to continue to work on. And we talked about some of those goals yesterday, but I really like the attitude. Came out here, did a lot of competitive drills, uh, did some a little bit of one-on-one, -on -one, a little bit of Pascal, a lot of team apart right now until we put the pads on on Saturday. But right now, I love the love the energy and the spirit and the leadership that the senior class is providing this team right now. When you have a coordinator change, does it help? you're already familiar with the person? Very, uh, very much so. Uh, and it's great to get the feedback from the Sam Barringtons and the Didi Lattimores and the Lanaires, just how smooth the transition's been and how excited they are. It's like Didi said to me, he said, boy, he holds us accountable. Wow. <laughs> he holds us accountable every little step, minute detail. But Chris, no one, uh, I know what kind of coach we got. I know what kind of person we got. I know what kind of communicator we got. I know what kind of fundamental football coach we got so from my standpoint I felt really comfortable that it was going to work because I know so much about Chris and I just have great respect for him as a coach as a coordinator as a person he was the defensive coordinator in South Carolina when I was the offensive coordinator there so we had a chance to spend a lot of time together and I just have great respect for him and, uh, I asked him to learn our defense when he came in here I said you know we, we've got one one thing changed on defense right. uh, I don't want to have 50 guys have to learn an entire new defense I'd rather ask one guy to come in and learn how we're doing things. And a little bit of an adjustment and a change for Chris, but Chris is on board. I mean, he's like, Coach, it's easier for me to learn it than it is to ask them to learn everything. And so uh, the transition for the players have, has been really smooth. And I think there's, I said, great chemistry, great work habits. Um, what's going on right now? With my new things, is that what you feel is the only thing missing from last year when uh, things did go wrong late in games? No, I, I think one of the things, we, we've talked a little bit about our depth uh, and how important that was. We've talked to the team about it, how we have to continue to continue to coach that. The thing on defense, just talking about that side of the ball, uh, we feel like we got to get better in our pass defense. There, there's some things that we got to clean up. We've studied that hard. Uh, I think um, obviously there was enough talent on this football team to win. That's how we got to the lead in about 11 out of our 12 games uh, in the fourth quarter. But uh, to lose them the way we did was frustrating. I know it was frustrating for the players, for the coaches, for the administration, for the fan base. I mean, it was frustrating for everybody to be that close. But the attitude and the way these guys are working, I think it's creating that much more resolve and determination to make sure we get it straight. I don't want to hammer or harp on it too much because I don't want it to be something that that we kind of browbeat, like, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. We just have to continue to grow from it. But the attitude and the leadership in that locker room right now, I think, will help us get there.